get that across the shore. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, my name is uh, Giannis Wela. I'm a field officer based here in Bohera district, Manikale in Zimbabwe. I work for the Methodist Development and Relief Agency. In short, we call it MEDRA, which is uh, supported by Christian Aid. I work under three thematic areas. That is the water and sanitation and hygiene being the first. I also do disaster risk reduction. I also do um, increasing income and also livelihoods. To, to the vulnerable communities. Uh, here we are at uh, Madzimba Shuro Clinic, uh, which was supported by Christian Aid through Medra. As uh, so we have a solarized uh, uh, water system, uh, uh, yeah, which is behind my back here. Uh, we re reticulated um, our water to the clinic, which was facing uh, serious water challenges whereby the nursing staff were walking around three kilometers to fetch water, leaving some of their duties in order for them to fetch water for their consumption and also for the clinic. But when this system came, it, um, it eased their problems because they could uh, get water from the yard. So it helped the communities a lot. Um, under the WASH project, that is water, sanitation and hygiene, we are also helping communities in terms of uh, water, that is providing safe water to them and also uh, increasing their sanitation through the construction of uh, oh, right. proper latrines which are approved by the Ministry of Health. And also we do some health and hygiene education to communities um, the main objectives of WASH is to reduce WASH-related diseases, that is uh, cholera, typhoid, dysentery, and the like. Uh, under the disaster risk reduction, we are trying to increase resilience uh, of our communities here in Bohera, because uh, it is, Bohera is now a disaster-prone area. It was also affected by Cyclone Edai recently. So, we are training communities for them to be disaster prepared and also to try and to respond to disasters that would have affected uh, our communities. Um, another thematic area which is livelihoods. We are into internal savings and livelihoods whereby communities are trained on ISILs trying to raise some funds for themselves. Um, to do some income generating activities. And there's another animal which has just came in, that is climate change. We are now into climate change. We are in it, we are living with it currently. So we are also training communities for them to be able to adapt to the effects of climate change. Because we cannot prevent it, but we can only adapt to it. So that is another area that is we are now into. Uh, thank you very much.